Just a quick heads up before we start, uh, you're going to be hearing from both me and my brother Ben Worley, who composed the score for the film. Uh, we've been told by many people that we sound very similar, so whenever it's his voice, his name's going to appear at the bottom, and when it's my voice, it'll be my name. Like this. I'm Ben Worley, and this is my voice. Easy, right? Thing is, that was a test. That was not Ben. That was actually still me. This is Ben. I'm Ben Worley, and this is my voice. All right, so now we're clear. Enjoy. So usually whenever I have an idea for a film, I immediately tell Ben the idea so that he can go and make a musical theme for me to write to. When Seth first told me about Go Bag, it was pretty obvious that we had the exact same direction in mind for the music. Actually, when I first started making a template for Go Bag, we knew the audience would be expecting a modern action score, and I think that Seth wanted to surprise everybody with a more classic adventure score. It's really easy to realize, in hindsight, how unoriginal that idea actually is. Just because you think modern filmmaking really needs a new classic adventure score doesn't mean that your film itself actually needs a classic adventure score. So I spent months scoring the film using the direction that we both agreed on, and then when it was all said and done, something didn't feel right. Some people actually thought it was a temp score, which on one hand is a compliment because that implies that it sounds like a real professional score, but on the other hand it also implies that it sounds foreign to the film. Another person said it sounded like we had scored a Jason Bourne film with Mission Impossible music. Once I thought about it and really listened to it, I realized they were absolutely right. This happens all the time. You realize that somewhere early on you made the wrong choice, and if there's time and resources to fix it, then by God, do it. And so with a month left until release, we scrapped the entire score and started from scratch. I threw out all of my previous ideas and went back to an old trick I used to use before I even had samples. Um, I'm a bass player, so I pulled out my bass, I hit play on the scene, and I just played through the scene to get an idea of the structure of the scene. And then I recorded that, and then I doubled it with a different bass to get a little more textures going on. And then I added actually just a, an old this uh, garage band patch of a grind bass and I just used that for like really low bass stuff. So here's the helicopter scene with the bass isolated. Then I actually put my synth guys all through that. And then had my drums and everybody in this scene is just going crazy. They're all, everybody's playing. And you know, of course did the orchestrations over here um, just to emphasize certain points. On this score, I learned that uh, rescoring can actually be really freeing creatively, especially if you're totally abandoning your original ideas, and it can actually be kind of fun. If you want to listen to Ben's score, including the entire unreleased version, check out this link where you can listen to the entire soundtrack. 